I'm always delighted to welcome people from all over the world. The YouTube is such a large community and I know it gives me a lot of enjoyment and pleasure. So I see this as a new phase in my life where um, I am now doing something useful in life uh, because I know that a lot of people learn from it. And I always like to get feedback from people to see how uh, they uh, react to the things and how I can improve it. So I've got a visitor of a family from Portugal and I will ask you to introduce yourself to our YouTube so, people. I'm Elizabeth. I'm from Portugal. Um, I've been seeing Peter's YouTube video for almost maybe more than four years. Before pandemic? Before the pandemic, okay. when I started um, working on bonsai, working now, taking pleasure of, okay. of styling bonsai and everything that bonsai uh, science and philosophy is. And it's been very important in my life right now because it helps me to overcome uh, some personal oh, difficulties. I believe you have some problems with uh, MS, as it Yes, I have oh, multiple sclerosis thing, yeah. and it, a oh. bonsai helps me with the uh, stress. De-stress, uh, okay. De-stress oh, myself. Nice. Oh, nice. And to be calm yeah. and to... I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it does that. Obviously, there's something... Because the human mind is so complex, you tell me you're a neuroscientist, it must have some effect that uh, it touches some part of the brain which sure, de-stresses, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes, because you have to be calm and because it's um, complex, it's not like other plants, you have to be careful and treat them very okay. calmly and okay. and it teaches you to take time because once I needs time. Okay, is it because the actual physical activity of making it or is it the mental approach to the subject that gives you it's enjoyment because i i do several uh, species oh. i have to learn about them so oh. i have to go and search for oh. the information yeah. and then i try the different techniques from the seed from oh. stock oh. and so that part really makes me to get away and go deep in the oh. in the what we need to do about yes. uh, the different types of bonsai. But you could get that from doing ordinary gardening, is it? Yes, but because we live in an apartment and because oh. it, I couldn't, and even me, I couldn't be in a large garden. Yes, yes. So it the helps bonsai me. Is convenient. It's convenient because it's a oh. small tree. Yes. And I can be really in my um, living room, oh. treating each of them. Yes. Okay. And so. It helps me in that way. Yes. I don't. I don't have to walk or do yes. large gardening. Yes, because when we have a big nursery like that, we don't think of people in different situations. So, what you say must uh, resonate with other viewers who are in similar situation, where despite not having a big garden, they can still get a lot of enjoyment from bonsai. So, I always have seen my approach to teaching. I'm not being boastful in any way <laughs> that i try to make things simple which is accessible yes. to people if it's too difficult it can be very daunting and frightening to people so i try to make it simple so that is my approach in bonsai do you find that yes really you okay. you've been transmitted because i'm a perfectionist of yes. because of being a scientist oh. you take me out of that part because you think oh. for you you make it simple. It's oh. like you always okay. say on, on your videos. Oh. So I'm not afraid of if I cut a branch, okay, oh. there's always a solution. Yeah. So I don't, I don't have to be stressed about oh. it. Only about the plagues. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, because the weather is changing okay. so much. Right. But it's really um, joyful, you know, to see things we can I can do okay. in a small space nice. living in a small space right. and because I have to work a lot at home yeah. I'm able to really enjoy okay. uh, nature oh, nice. oh, at nice. home okay. so bonsai does different things to different people and has different effects so there are certain areas about bonsai I think you're the right person to converse with uh, because it is such a vast field I was doing a documentary film for some professional filmmakers. And they asked me, what fantasies have you got about bonsai? And fantasy, you know, you let your mind roam and think of all sorts of things like science fiction. 
and they asked me, do you think a bonsai has a soul? And things like that, you know, questions such as that, deep questions. It's not a silly thing because I, I think I've read one or two places that they are now discovering that plants, the trees, their roots communicate with each other, plants mm -hmm. communicate with each other. But because the human mind is so small compared to the vastness of the universe, we don't understand anything about the universe really. We are just beginning to realize that plants actually talk. After all, they're living beings. Like animals are living beings, plants are living. They must communicate with each other, but we don't know that, you know. So how does bonsai uh, communicate or how do plants communicate? That's such a vast area to think about. So apart from bonsai, I think about questions like this and it fascinates me. So although I've never been trained as a plants person, you know, horticulturalist, as you know, I'm from an engineering background, mm -hmm. uh, but these things always intrigue me. So there are so many aspects of bonsai. So what aspect of bonsai do you enjoy? Um, when I think of, so for me it was to, be, to start from the beginning, like from the, even the seed yes. and try different species oh. and, and the perspective of yeah. having small trees, like yeah. your, and, and the perspective of it's going from generation to generation. It's something. But were you a horticulture? Did you do gardening before? No, I didn't. So when I was uh, some years ago, uh, as a scientist, uh, the only time we I had was to science work, and work we have tendency to be, be workaholic because science is demanding, and uh, raising a family. So I didn't have m much hobbies, or the hobbies I had in the past, I didn't do it then. But then uh, with time and with my uh, my disease yes. and working at home, being oh. um, obliged to oh. change and oh. to adapt, uh, I had to discover, I discovered a new oh. hobby because it's always oh. a hobby, but also it's a therapy oh. and um, it allowed me to have contact with the plants that and with the the life of the oh. plants and the gardening and being yeah. able to make put my hands yes. in and that's something that i didn't yes, enjoy I, before oh. i was even letting my plants yes. the the plants uh, indoor i think having an, an interest or hobby is very important in a person's life isn't it because i have more than enough interests as a young person i used to be competitive cyclist so that was a very big part of my life and then after that, I did so many other hobbies. In even younger days, I used to do model making and things. And now, then I took up swimming, uh, apart from cycling, then swimming. And then bonsai came into my life. Now it is dance, which is in my life. Very big <laughs> part of my life is dance. Uh, so all these things widen the scope of your human uh, existence, isn't it? You I know? think it evolves with you. Is it? In terms of age. What you are able oh. or what you because are able to do. Because not everyone does it, isn't it? Because we can't force people that you've got to have a hobby to make your life complete, whether you like you it or not. You cannot force it. Something that people have to... Want to do it. Want to do oh. it and feel the need to. Oh. And it has to fulfill yourself. Okay. Otherwise, it will not but be But how complete. do people discover that? Because, you know, some people live, live very boring lives. So if they live boring lives, you can't say, why don't you do this? You have a more interesting life. <laughs> um, because I, I worked a lot in the field of dementia yes. for several years okay. in Alzheimer's disease and I'm always saying people have to do uh, cognitive uh, oh. cognitive activities oh. for them to be protected against uh, oh. aging oh. and when I talk to people and even go to schools I try to give that knowledge of, of improving their cognitive cognition oh. because it's so important in terms of aging so um, it's not just physical it's mental more important yes yes like being able it's, to work the computer and things like that yes it's it's the diff different things because oh. okay people go to to the gym yes it's not enough because you're doing the same yes. thing okay no you have to do different things oh. or or okay. else it would yeah. have an, an, eff an effect oh. on your brain yeah. and so um 
even with the bonsai oh. you have to think of the if you have different species yeah. and different they have different needs yeah i you approach are changing bonsai yes your approach. i can see because i'm approaching bonsai as a problem solving exercise if you remember my videos i always say every bonsai is a problem and you have to solve that problem you know yes. it's like a mathematical problem <laughs> what is the solution what is the, the solution what to that is problem the you know, bonsai got, need yeah for itself yeah. And you have to provide it yeah. and also uh, it, if, if you, doing not the same activity even with yeah. the bonsai you have to do yeah. different kind well, yeah. as you do because yeah. i know that you are more than 80 years old yeah. and you are very healthy yeah. in terms of at least at what i can see in your yeah. videos and and what you transmit in terms of your yeah. daily life is very diverse yeah. so you're doing the a very good approach mm. for aging, for mm. healthy aging. Oh, okay. And but you got to have the health as well. Some people are not healthy, isn't it? So. But you can adapt. Oh, oh. It's like for me, I, oh. there's a lot I cannot do anymore. Oh. I cannot go and climb fast, a tree. Yes, yes, that's or right. uh, there's a lot of things you yes, do that I cannot yeah. do it because my health doesn't oh. allow me. So, you so do we have to you adapt. Able to do. Yes, yes. I see. And. Oh. Um, I think that that's that's yeah. uh, and as you said, uh, you were talking about plant communicating. You can see that happening because yeah. uh, in different in different ways. Yes. And and w there's so many things that we don't know yeah. that uh, we are still discovering. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we will show you, introduce to, to Kevin Wilson because he's here, so we can uh, wander there oh, and have a chat botany, with him. Okay. Uh, yeah, so beautiful. I had some botany uh, classes, <laughs> and so I had vascular plants, ah. was a, 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 a lecture. Yeah. So I know that what Kevin does is like, it's not magic, but almost magic because you have to really know what you are doing See, look at when this. he's carving. This was yes, very I ugly. I know this one. They were the ones you, you <laughs> took from the... Yeah, from yeah, the, yeah. Field. Look at this. I cannot do it. Everyone in this life, no, you cannot do everything in life. Some people can do certain things. Some people can do other things. What Kevin does, I can never do. Because I But I can teach in a way that Kevin cannot teach. You see, so everyone yes. has qualities which are different. And you got to respect that, you know. You have s certain mental... Uh, uh, capacities and abilities which I can never hope to achieve. Isn't it? So we have to respect that, but and then we enjoy it. So you see, that is the enjoyment. And I find also that as I get older, when we were young, we're always competing with each other, fighting with each other. I'm better than you, you're better than me. It causes a lot of stress. So one of the big lessons in life I've learned is forget about uh, stress, you know, forget about that sort stress of... Stress is so, yeah. so harmful for the yeah. disease, for, for your I think the life. competitive so thing stressful. is not very good, you know, not, not to be... I know you've got to be competitive to succeed in life, but be competitive in a nice way, mm. not in a bad way, you mm -hmm. know. Compete so that you improve the quality of your own life and other people's lives. So this is how we approach bonsai. So look at this beauty, you know, as it I say, yes. we only have... are able to enjoy it. But we respect Kevin for what he can do. So here's a great Kevin, you know. <laughs> and this is Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello. She has been following uh, Portugal. Right? I'm from, yeah, Portugal, from Portugal, yes. Oh. Hi. It's a pleasure. I'm so thankful and grateful for what you're doing. And, and Peter's uh, videos are so important. Yeah, they're incredible. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's such a good orator, yeah. And, <laughs> just seems to calm people down you know when you watch it yeah, you know. when i'm watching the videos your voice is so calm is it? <laughs> really i don't know if it's the tone it's oh. the way that it's so calming i really relax yes i feel relaxed so that's what i was I saying i have always i've also said in the video i hate my voice because because having grown up in india i have a slight indian accent which is i never liked but that is me, I cannot change it, you know, so it's I accept a, that. I've learned to... I remember the first time I met you, Pete, yeah, and you spoke to me, yeah, and I expected you, right, yeah, to have a Chinese accent, oh. but then when you spoke to me, you had an Indian accent. <laughs> I was like, oh, but it's God, very God, slight. It's so strange, okay. yeah. But after all, you've got to remember the world is a big place, you know, different countries, yeah, everyone yeah. has different I know what accents. you're saying, I was yeah. born in France. Oh. 
so my uh, mother, uh, my mother tongue is French. Oh. So when I'm speaking Portuguese, you cannot notice unless I mix some words. Oh. And it's like my tongue is not able to do some sounds because, oh. yeah, because uh, okay, that's that's uh, uh, that's a cognitive process of the human. Yeah, yeah. So I could I could be spending oh. hours talking oh. about that, but uh, yes, okay. <laughs> the scene well, the scene in Portugal now is quite strong, huh? The, the scene in Portugal but is quite strong. It's growing, now. yes, it's growing. People Have you seen other people's collection, the teachers in Portugal who are doing? Yes, there are some. Um, it's something yeah. that has grown with the pandemic, I think, because people yeah. um, needed something to do uh, during the pandemic oh, at home okay. and they were um, right. enclosed. But there's a couple of uh, good artists. Yes, I mean, there's. Oh, what's the guy's name? Is that a artist, is it, isn't it? Yes, it's yeah. from uh, okay, and it's a bonsai shop from it's uh, uh, uh it's close and uh, near Porto. I've it's seen it. Porto. I don't yeah, know, I know him personally oh, or he's not, he's his work. Oh. Yes, but guy. I can see his website okay. and, and yeah, yes. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did a convention there back maybe, oh. I don't know, maybe 15, 18 years, something like that. Yeah. And there's yeah, some Portugal. communities. Uh, in, in our region, we have there's a club. I don't oh, go there, good. but there's a club okay. of people that gather okay, together yeah. and share yeah. their. But also, right, if I can give you a bit of advice, if you really want to see stuff that well, even blows my mind, uh, is travel to Asturias. If you go over the border into uh, you know into Spain, into northern Spain, to the Picos. There's a couple of places there, yeah, where this some of the in, stuff is incredible. In what, Spain, the bonsai? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, in in yeah, Spain, yeah. bonsai really? culture is much more stronger than yes, in of Portugal. Course, of course. You yes. have one guy, um, Alvarez. Uh, uh, Louis. No, not Louis. Um, what's his name? Alvarez something. Oh, yeah, you know? okay. But he, oh my, yeah. he's garden, yeah. I remember, got, well, I did some work for him, yeah. yeah, and I went into his garden. And uh, he left me speechless. Yeah, I was just like jaw dropped. I couldn't mm. believe what was in there. You know, incredible. So yeah, there's a big scene in northern Spain. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And some of the best trees mm. from all over Spain are in Asturias and that area. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's worth taking a trip over the border and having mm. a look. I've been, yeah. I've been in Spain, but for work and. Uh, yeah. mm. But there's also Madrid. Yeah, with the with the Algebendis Museum, mm -hmm. the Luis uh, Vallejo owns. Yeah, you know. And uh, that's that's stunning. That's that's incredible. Yeah, the Spanish are so into it. They're so <laughs> yes, know. yes, yes. It's something that was when I go to the websites, and even if I want to purchase uh, something, I don't know um, the that I need for my my plants. Yeah. Normally, I I purchase them. Yeah. Okay, we have a, a shop at Quimbra. Uh, a friend of mine is a very close friend of mine and once I yeah. brought us together and uh, but sometimes I want something different and and I can find it in in, in oh. Spain yeah I mean this you know the Spanish people are, oh. are just obsessed with it yeah Anyway, but, but there are different, so many different levels of bonsai but whatever you do yeah. however difficult however simple as I think the main thing is to get enjoyment, isn't it? What I do is, is to go when I'm stressed or when <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling low in terms of... I go yes. to a nursery, a normal yes. nursery, okay. and I go and search what they have. <laughs> Normally, they are the ugliest oh, plants uh, that I go, searching for the ones that can be beautiful. Well, outside. you haven't seen all the nursery. We have <laughs> four hectares. Yes, you know. can walk and see the plants there. Are. And so, See, this has all grown on the nursery and then we pick it and we make the bonsai from that. We just go to the field, bring a plant and make bonsai. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen you taking these uh, uh, from the soil mm. in the videos. Mm. Because you have to know a lot about when you are yes, farming, that's right. you have to know, know a lot about, about the vessel, the vasculature yeah, of, the, right. of the plant. You can't, you can you can't kill, kill it. it, yeah. kill it. Yeah. And, and so that's yeah. amazing, yeah. the knowledge you will yeah. have to have yeah. not to kill the plant. Yeah. And so now I'm starting to <laughs> to experiment more. Good, and, good, all right. And trying more. Yeah. So you should come sometime and do some.
class with us. So <laughs> I'm not really not. I I really uh -huh. am. I want to enjoy it. Yes, and good. Yeah, okay. The problem is, the, it's not a problem. But as a scientist, I tend to yeah. time as well. Yeah. To go to balance. Not things. time. Huh? I have oh. sometimes I, oh. because I can, I'm not able to work oh. at a computer, okay. so yeah. I have more time for the. Yeah. Okay. For enjoying the, the plants. Okay, very nice talking to you. So I hope the viewers, our YouTube family, will enjoy our conversation. <laughs> All right. And you <laughs> can you spend so more time here. All Thank right. you so much. Okay, great. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, me, Diz. <laughs> <laughs>